What's up, YouTube? This is OKG420, and I'm gonna make a really quick bit here on. Uh, I'm gonna cover a couple topics before I gotta go into work today. So uh, let's get right to it because I've got to go. Um, really quick, I want to give a shout out to Nintendo Power for entertaining me all those years growing up. Um, I never had a Nintendo as a child, but everyone I knew had a Nintendo Power that took to school and I read it and they let me borrow it and um, as I got older I got a chance to buy a lot of them and um, I mean who doesn't uh, read Nintendo Power seriously I mean the ads in here are crazy ridiculous when you go back to the really old ones and why are you I mean stopping I mean this is yes it's going to the digital age I understand that very well why because I am also a subscriber to Shonen Jump and just one of my all-time favorite reading materials and as of March of this year they put out their last paper edition uh, edition and uh, they're going to uh, they're, they went um on the internet now I mean you gotta in order to read them now you gotta go on the damn internet which I mean it's okay but I like hard copies you know that's what I do I collect I can't collect shit that's on the internet but I can physically collect this and go to it whenever I'm well I guess I can go to it whenever I want on the internet but you know what I mean I can't take the goddamn internet into the bathroom well I guess I could but you know what I'm saying Sometimes you just need a hard copy, and, and that's what I love, and that's what this brought me and when I was growing up, and I'm going to miss it dearly, you know, and uh, like my Shonen Jump collection, I've got like literally hundreds of these books, and now it's just abruptly stopped, I'm just, it sucks, I don't know why companies do that, man, it sucks, literally the web age is great, but at the same time it ended a lot of our our loves you know what I mean so goodbye Nintendo power there's a lot of people out there that bid you farewell and I'm one of them so uh, good luck in the future uh, Nintendo needs no luck seriously <laughs> they're the shit without anything else on top of it so uh, that was my shout out to Nintendo power gonna miss these people um again uh, let me see what else to cover oh I watched uh, Mike Gartner's um, response video to Ed T. Uh, 1138, and um, he basically picked my picks. I was like, "Holy shit!" See, the the the, the true great ones know what's good out there, and uh, we've played them. And we're not lying. The older generation, we're not, what have we been telling the younger generation? Listen to us. We know what we're talking about. All I mean. We know what's best for you, alright? So just take our advice. Anything we recommend, we won't steer you wrong. Final Fantasy VII, come on. I mean, if you've played it, you know what we're talking about. Fantasy Star, don't even get me started on Fantasy Star. Ed T1138 just picked up his copy. He said he was going to play it with his son. Bro, nothing but thumbs up there. I mean, you're going to have a blast. I mean, there's going to be some spots where you're going to need help. And, um, obviously the internet's there to help you. Or me. I'm a, a self-appointed fantasy star expert. So if you need any tips, just let me know. Um, oh, and kudos to Mike Gardner for drinking that bourbon through that hockey mask. Wow, does that take talent. I mean, I've seen hookers pick up pennies with their ass cheeks. But drinking bourbon through a hockey mask, that takes the cake. And if you're ever in Texas, Mike Gardner, uh, we do things big here. So you would try drinking this through your hockey mask, huh? Yeah. Your big size is Texas small size. So um, this is like a tester cup for us. So... Yeah, we do things big. Tequila! I don't drink. <laughs> I When I see things I like, I buy them. Why? Because I can. 
So, uh, if you, my, my new subscribers, I've been getting a lot of subscribers. Um, awesome. Thanks, guys. I hope to keep you guys entertained. I will be doing more dumpster dive videos really soon, as soon as I get off of work. Um, but if you guys haven't checked out my Garner, check him out. He's going to be in the link below. Also, if you haven't seen any of Ed T 1138's videos, check him out. He'll be in the link below. Uh, the Sega Stoner. Oh, man. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Check him out. He'll be in the link below. Uh, am I missing anybody? Oh, another great channel, Michael B, the Game Genie. Check him out. He'll be in the link below. All these guys, I'm not going to steer you wrong. Subscribe to them. Tell them I sent you, especially the Sega Stoner, because he's got a contest going on right now. And I could potentially win a lot of stuff. So please subscribe to the Sega Stoner and tell them OK Chief sent you. Because you can't go wrong when you're an OK Chief 420 subscriber. You're already a winner when you subscribe to me. So where does that put you? Even more of a winner. Like Super Saiyan 16 level. So yeah. Okay. Moving on. I watched War Putty's uh, pickup video where he mentioned he played. Alice, Madness Returns, holy moly, this game is wickedly awesome. I finished it already, I bought it back when it first came out, so I played it a, a couple times, I did a couple roundabouts on it, and it never, it never gets old, it never gets old, I love it, you can't go wrong with this game, uh, wickedly, wickedly dark for an Alice uh, game. Well, this is like the first video. I don't know. Pretty, pretty much sure this is the first video game. I'm pretty sure. I'm not. Don't quote me on that. But this play takes place 11 years after she comes back from Wonderland, and um, no spoiler alerts. But basically, she's going around Wonderland again, trying to find the villain that set uh, fire to her house, which made her an orphan. And uh, long story short, um, she's awesome. I'm not gonna give it away. Trust me, you play it. But this is not why I brought this up. War Putty brought it up because he said he liked it. And he, he, I, he showed, but he's playing the PS3 version. I'm playing the Xbox 360 version. Whatever your cup of tea is, your system. I mean, either or, it's great. I have them both. Doesn't really matter. But this one's great. But this is not why I, I chose to show you this or why I uh, mentioned War Putty 666. Uh, the reason why I'm, I'm mentioning him is because when I went out that day after I saw his video, I went out game hunting just by chance and dumpster diving, just checking it out. And I stopped at one of my stores, my one of my favorite stores is called uh, Heroes and Fantasies down in San Antonio. Um, if you're in the San Antonio area, you might want to check them out because they got some wickedly awesome stuff. But one of the things that uh, I saw there as I was walking through all the figures that they have was, and War Party, you're going to love this one. If you like that game, you're going to love these. I picked up a Alice Madness Returns figure. She is so badass. See that? These are wickedly awesome. They had the, the car guard and the Chesser Cat there. But like I said, these were wickedly expensive. I got another one I'm going to show you. Um, I couldn't get all four because I have to have some kind of logic to spending... You know, because I've been, man, I'll show you a couple stuff that I've been getting next, and uh, I've spent a lot of money this last week. But um, this is Alice in regular form. This is how you play her as normally. Um, as you progress in the game, um, you get the special ability where she, when you're about to die, she turns into Hysteria Alice. And for those of you who play this game, know what I'm talking about. So this is regular, and this is hysteria Alice huh yeah look at the blood coming out of her eyes she looks like stigmata on steroids let me show you let's see if it doesn't if it's not too much glare look at look at the blood on her dress sick and she's got the pepper grinder which is one of her it's one of her um, weapons plus um, that's one of her weapons right there um, I think it's, yeah, the Hobby Horse. That's one of her weapons, Wicked Weapon right there. But yeah, that's her in Hysteria Mode. 
So when you're about to die, she turns into this mode, and she's basically invincible only for like a a, a limited num a limited time, and then she goes back to normal. But um, I picked these up. These are freaking awesome, huh? Yeah. So I thought maybe War Putty Six 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 might get a kick out of that. So okay, that's my Alice in Wonderland um, collection there. Uh, what else? Okay. I picked up a copy of The Hunger Games uh, Blu-ray. I buy only Blu-ray. Um, but this in itself is not so special. I mean, everyone picked this up. This is nothing big. Awesome movie, by the way. But um, this is not why I'm showing you this. Along with buying this, I bought a collector's edition. And this is my first ever Barbie doll. It says right at the bottom, Barbie's Collector Black Label. This is not a PS1 game. I don't know why they called it Black Label. But this is um, Cantus. Katniss? I don't know what the fuck her name is. It says Katniss. <laughs> I can never pronounce it. I, I don't know. Whatever. But look at this. This is a collector's edition uh, Hunger Games doll. Barbie collectors. This is a Barbie, I'm guessing. Yeah, no. This is a Barbie. It says it all over the back. Barbie. So... I've never ever bought a Barbie in my whole life, and here I am buying one. But this is technically not a frou frou Barbie. This is a badass Barbie. So, um, I'm excused. No homo. I'm excused from all from all uh, negative comments. She is badass. I'm sorry. So, if you can find your collector's edition, pick it up. I only like buying collectors. Oh, and it's always going to stay in the box. Everything I own always is in the box. I'm never going to open it. I don't know what it is. It's, I'm OCD about that stuff, too. Um, on Tuesday, um, I went to go buy my copy of Transformers Fall of Cybertron. I already beat it. Would you believe that shit? I already beat this game. Awesome game. No spoilers, but Megaplex, <whistles> buddy, let me tell you, uh, Metroplex, that's what I forgot, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jesus Christ, you fuck up once and then you get all these comments, um, you know you meant to say it, I know, try doing this shit on one take, man, god damn it, shit, whatever. But yes, pick up your copy today. Uh, I can't say enough about this game. It's awesome. Kind of plays like the other one that came out. I have that one too. But um, I literally, I, got, I went over to Best Buy at opening time. I took footage of it. I'm going to probably show it a little later on when I edited all that other stuff in. Uh, when I do, oh, and I, I went dumpster diving. That's where I picked this up. And I picked up, it wasn't a big haul, I'm not going to go and say, oh, I picked up a, a fucking, uh, a PlayStation uh, 17, you know, I'm not going to say that, I did, I mean, it was mostly all boxes, you know, whatever, but there were boxes that I needed, so I'm going to edit that, I'm going to make another video on that, but, um, that was the same day that I went when I got this, and I, when I got home, I ripped this open, and I was going to make an unboxing video of it, but hell no, I couldn't wait, so popped this in, played it for like 11 hours straight, beat it. So, um, if you don't already have it, pick yours up today. But this is not why I brought this up. Why I brought this up was because I was at a store, I'm not going to say where, why, because I don't want this place to be selling, I don't want everybody to go and buy up all this inventory that I'm going to be buying. Just had to take it easy this day. But for that game, I went out and I, and I bought myself a ultimate optimus prime oh yes when i saw this i was like mother of christ i i just need this i mean i don't have any room anymore but i need this right so i'm like what if i could just like look at that oh 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 yeah awesome okay I was gonna open this and display it like badass. So what do I do? I was like, no, I can't open one. I have to have it sealed, right? So I went out 
And I was like, well, fuck it, man. If I'm going to go all out, I'm going to go ahead and buy two. So that I can open one and display it, right? No, I'm not going to do that. They're both staying fucking sealed. I can't. I just can't open these, man. Um, This is so awesome. I love these goddamn things. Optimus Prime times 2 equals Ultra Magnus. No, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But yeah, check them out. These are going to stay sealed, man. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how much two of these cost. Let alone the next thing I picked up. Picked up those two, right? Oh, I can't just not get that. I also picked up a... Devastator! Yes! Look at the size of this son of a bitch. I can't even... This is like a, a, a down payment on a fucking Lexus. All the stuff that I fucking bought for today. I mean, with the figures and the collector's editions and the games and all the action... Oh my lord! What am I doing? I can't stop showcasing this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> you wish you had this, but you don't. You don't. I do, cause I'm so badass. Um, yeah. So that's my quick pickup video. Um, I have more stuff. I picked up. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I picked up this MP. Nothing special about this MP3 player, except that it has that transformer autobot logo on it i only paid two bucks at a goodwill for it i'm never gonna open it whatever but it's transformers it's only got 128 megabytes i piss 530 megabytes so 128 megabytes is literally like a half a song nowadays it's worthless but it's cool because it's transformers related and i collect transformer stuff so uh, recap, Transformers, uh, Alice, uh, figures, um, Hunter Games figures, shout out to Nintendo Power and all my guys, my fellow YouTubers, check them out down in the links below, Mike Garner, um, I will all drink you any day, tequila, uh, what else, that's pretty much it, uh, stay tuned for my, um, pickups vid and my dumpster dive vid coming up pretty soon here on games, this was pickup vids on just figures, so, oh, and I got a lot of figures, I will probably make a, a tour, a room tour of that one day, so stay tuned for that, so this is OKChief420, okay and please stay tuned, please, please subscribe. Uh, love all you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are what I keep doing this for. So I, ho I love entertaining everybody. I love your comments. Please like my videos and subscribe. Um, I will see you very, very soon.